Cool. Uh, 350, intersection of two arrays 2. Uh, given two arrays, write, and then write a function to compute the intersection. Uh, and you have some bunch of examples. Uh, you share them in, in the results. Uh, okay, the results going in order. Uh, the eh, I guess we don't have to follow up. Do we have to worry about anything? The result can be in any order. Okay. I mean, I think this is just uh, like a little bit of an extension of the set intersection, which you can uh, calculate with a hash table. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, uh, with a dictionary, I guess, in Python, and then you can kind of just print out in the little constraints, and then after that, I guess we'll look for the follow-up. Um, cool, and yeah, I mean, we'll go over the complexity in a second. It should be relatively okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now we just do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Show a pen, pen I guess. Mm. Hmm. Uh, oh, <laughs> been using different languages. I'm not quite sure, but I think this is working regardless. Okay, I mean, I guess that's correct ish. The order is that way. Uh, we test some empty case, maybe just in case. Wish that was slightly faster, but that's okay. Sure, that is right in the other direction as well. <coughs> okay, cool. Uh, I guess it could be better. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Yeah, so this is relatively straightforward. Uh, and to analyze, uh, this is linear time and linear space, um, you know, which is the size of the hash table. And linear time, because we just go through O of n plus m, where n is the number of numbers in numbers one and m is the number of numbers in numbers two. Uh, yeah, this is relatively straightforward implement, uh, usage of hash tables. I don't think um, it should trip you up. If, if it does, you should, uh, need to practice stuff like this. Uh, this is very fundamental. Uh, I think on a, as an interview E, uh, uh, this should be straightforward, as I mentioned, and kind of yeah, I mean, it should not challenge you. Uh, as an interviewer, I probably don't think I would give just this problem, uh, or just this as a problem. As an interviewer, I would expect you to um, maybe in the, incorporate this problem uh, into part of a bigger problem. Maybe maybe there's some, I don't know, order statistics thing where like you're, you're counting, uh, uh, like, like essentially like you have this problem, but one more layer of abstraction so that uh, uh, you're doing something with these output, right? So, uh, so I'd probably layer it that way if I was doing an interview. But uh, 
But otherwise, uh, well, otherwise it's a straightforward problem. Uh, oh, let's check the follow-ups. Uh, what if the given array is already sorted? How would you optimize my algorithm? Uh, if the array is already sorted, uh, we can actually use the the two-finger algorithm. Uh, so you have a pointer on the first array and a pointer on the uh, uh, on the right array, and then kind of just move them uh, uh, in tandem. Um, it's still linear time, but um, but it'll, it'll, your your space will become constant, so that is you know better. Um, what is number size one is small compared to number size two? Uh, which algorithm is better? Uh, I think. That, well, I mean, uh, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, uh, uh, per se. Uh, again, I mean, you want constant space. That's obviously slightly better. Um, but you can actually do things like if I was really worried about memory usage, I would do maybe instead of just generic. Uh, like here, we always put. The numbers of num one, uh, numbers one into the hash table. But in theory, you could just do a small if statement like, "Hey, if um, if there are more numbers in numbers one, then you use the other uh, thing to put in your hash table, and then just go through the other array linearly." Uh, so I mean, it, they're minor optimizations, which I guess in an interview they may ask, but I it shouldn't be a big deal either way. Um, what if the elements of numbers two are stored on disk? And the memory is the middle, so that you cannot load all elements into the memory at once. Uh, that is maybe interesting. Uh, I think hmm. uh, is it still sorted? Maybe not. Uh, I think they're probably uh, uh, there. There's some standard-ish uh, uh, algorithms for kind of. Uh, putting things in the memory, so maybe there's a divide and conquer algorithm here it is that will help. Um, uh, and it depends, I have to really think about this a little bit more maybe, uh, but at worst case you could do uh, a sort of uh, merge sort, uh, which allows you to kind of, it's more optimized for uh, storing things in uh, from disk to memory, and that allows you to use the two finger algorithm a little better. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm 